Gotcha. Now, there's nothing I like more than to find a place where people gather for a good time, set up my microphone, and ask complete strangers random questions. Then I bring their answers back here so our in-studio contestants can guess whose answers were on the mark and whose were a smudge on the IQ test. So let's assess our contestants. We got Javon! <laughs> He's smudged! And Wendy! Everyone knows it's Wendy! The competition is about to begin, so keep your eye on the prize, because there's only one, and it goes to the winner. Now, let's meet our three pretty people on the screens. First, Vonda tells us the meaning behind her nickname, Mama Hooter. So, Vonda, you're famous. Tell me why. I work at Hooters. But what, what's your distinction working at Hooters? I'm the oldest Hooter girl. You're the oldest Hooter girl in America. In America. 51. You are, you are not 51. 51. You look amazing. I'm sure you're 51? Yeah. And you're known as what? Mama Hooters. Mama Hooters. Grandma Hooters. I got the camera. So, are you married? Yes. How many kids do you have? I have four. Four kids? And one grandson. You're a grandmother. Yeah, my little Joey, he's three. I don't Hi, believe Joe. <laughs> Where's Joe, Joe at? TV. Where is he? What state is he in? <laughs> New York, but he's here now. Okay. How amazing does she look? And Peggy hey. fills us in on the nicest thing that's ever happened to her. So Peggy, where are you originally from? Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand, I love it. Michigan's a, fun, it's a nice state. So what do you like to do for fun? What are some of your hobbies? Gardening. Gardening? Gardening. What do you grow, in your, what do you grow in your garden? Flowers. What kind what of flowers? That's what I want. What's the nicest thing a stranger has ever done for you? Years and years ago, had a flat tire, no spare, and no money. Mm -hmm. Four young boys come along and went and bought me a tire and put it on for me. That's a very nice story. I had to go look them up to pay them, but they, I found them. Oh, very nice. That's very nice of them. <laughs> I love the story, Peggy. Thank you. And finally, Stephen shows us how he sings for his supper. Steven, where are you from? I'm from Orlando, Florida. Orlando, and you're in a group, right? Yeah. What's your group called? New Ground. New Ground. How many members are in the band? Four. And what kind of music do you guys sing? R&B. R&B. Loving you is all I need. Never take a love from me. So where did you go to school, Steven? Me, Poinciana High School. And what was your best subject there? Lunch. Lunch was your best? <laughs> It's time to find out who knew it. I asked all three the same question. You guys have to figure out who got it right. Okay. You're locking a choice and a correct guess. will get you 100 bucks. Ready, steady, let's go, go man, go. go. Here's the first question I asked Vonda, Peggy, and Steven. In Washington, D.C., the Potomac is the name of a what? In Washington, D.C., the Potomac is the name of a what? Who knew it? Was it Vonda, a.k.a. Mama Hooter, Peggy, or Steven? All right, you're both locked in. You both think it's Vonda. Uh, Wendy, you think she knows, huh? I, you know what? Yeah, I've got a good feeling. She's going to get this one. Okay, and Javon, you're with that, huh? She works for Hooters, man. She, works for <laughs> <laughs> she should know her D.C. stuff. Huh? <laughs> In Washington, D.C., the Potomac is a name of a what? Pumpkin pie? I don't know. Potomac. Uh, <laughs> Potomac. <laughs> yeah, she didn't know the answer on that one. Sorry, you both had Vonda. She was kind of off. Now, audience, what do you think? I'm going to let you play Peggy or Steven. Peggy! It is Peggy, you're right. Very good. In Washington, D.C., the Potomac is the name of a what? River. <laughs> I guess I asked a stupid question. All right, before we move along, let's see what Steven said. In Washington, D.C., the Potomac is the name of a what? A group. What kind of group? Uh, Ajax group that'd be helping people clean their houses. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next question. Uh, I asked all three. Cheap decorative jewelry is called blank jewelry. Cheap decorative jewelry is called blank jewelry. Who can fill in that blank? Vonda, Peggy, or Steven? Javon's ready. Wait for Wendy. She liked it too. Wow, you both again are going back to Vonda, both of you. Javon, she's going to get this one. Vonda has a grip of she's, that kind of stuff. She got it. She wears a hooter. She's got to wear it. A grip? Oh, is that like a lingo thing? A whole lot. A grip? Oh, I got a it. Now lot. I know. I'm down. You're down with the homie. Right. All right. <laughs> I'm okay. okay. Let's check it out. Cheap decorative jewelry is called blank jewelry. Uh, cosmetic jewelry. Cosmetic jewelry? jewelry. Cheap stuff. Cheap stuff. What do you, you have your very nice earrings on. Those look very nice. What are those? Co cosmetic cheap jewelry. Cosmetic cheap jewelry. <laughs> That's a wrong answer, you guys. Yeah, Vonna got that wrong. The correct answer, Peggy. Cheap decorative jewelry is called blank jewelry. Costume. Costume jewelry, yeah. You that stuff? Yeah. You get some real stuff too, right? Oh, a little bit. <laughs> You're not wearing much jewelry today, though. You got a nice watch, though. Yeah, oh, yeah, beautiful. Timex. Oh, yeah. I, I, the greatest. It takes a licking. <laughs> it takes a licking. It takes darn good time, too. 
keeps on ticking. All right, costume drawer is the correct answer. I'm sorry, audience. I was like, you know, you guys are like, costume. I'm like, no, it's Peggy. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot we weren't playing along on that one. All right, that was my bad. All right, here's the last question around. Hopefully, we can get you guys some money on that this one. That would be good. I asked uh, all three, what is a heist? What is a heist? All right, who knew that one? Come on, doesn't waste any time. He's always in. And Wendy, wow, you guys are three for three thinking the same way here. Uh, high five. You both think it's Steven. Yeah, high five. It's worked so well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, Wendy, Steven will know this one? He's going to know this one. He watches movies that have to do with bank heists okay. and action all right, movies. Wendy, yeah, let's see if it works. What is a heist? A heist. When you rob a bank. Right, very good. That's the right answer, Wendy. Now you can high five. You got one right. All right, let's see what Vonda said for fun on this one. What is a heist? A heist? Isn't that thing that you wear um, around your thingy? So it's something that you that's something that that you wear around here. That yeah. I can't wear. Because because I've been blessed. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's take out the scores. Javon, you got a hundred bucks. <laughs> Wendy's got a hundred bucks. Alright, Street Smart has to steal away for a minute, but stick around. Double the dollar values, triple the last. What a deal! Come back! Street Smarts, let's unlock the secrets to our in-studio contestants. We have Wild Man Javon from Colton, California. He's a dad slash DJ. Now, one time you borrowed your parents' car. I took my parents' car. I was trying to learn to drive stick. Me and my friends took it out, had a great night, and somehow I snapped the claw in the gear, got it stuck in reverse. We had to drive it home 10 miles backwards. Backwards? Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah, that's ba bad. That's yeah. bad karma. Karma. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have Wendy. Wendy from, is it Duarte, California? Yes. All right. And you're a substitute teacher. Now, you're a substitute. Tell us about this one time you were subbing in class. Well, I scarfed down a protein bar at lunch, and then for right. the rest of the day, the kids kept giggling and whispering as I walked yeah. by. After school, I went around town and ran some errands, and it wasn't <laughs> until I got home that I finally looked in the mirror. I had a huge dark brown smudge on my face. Uh -oh. Chocolate from the Chocolate protein bar. Chocolate on your face. See, little kids love to make fun of the subs. It's like, it's my sub. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was that kind of thing. <laughs> All right, let's recap the scores. Javon's got 100 bucks. wendy has got 100 bucks. Does anyone's nose feel a tad itchy? It must be time for Who Blew It? I have the same question, only two at a time. You guys must guess who got it wrong. You're locking a choice and a correct answer into $200. Yes, plus there's that dunce cap. You can only use it once this round. When you think your opponent doesn't know the answer, you buzz in and dunce them. If they're wrong, you get 200 bucks. But if they're right, they get 200 bucks. The cap can be meaner than rain on a new hairdo, so watch out. All right, here's the first question I asked to both Vonda and Steven. I showed them both this card, and I asked them to pronounce this word correctly. So what do you think, guys? Who blew it? Was it Vonda or Steven? Did not know the answer to that one. Okay. And you're both locked? Is that the fourth time in a row they've done the same person, I think? Right? All right. Okay, you both think Steven. Javon, you think he'll blow this, huh? If he knows about hosiery, we need to ask. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Steven, pronounce this word correctly. Horsery. What is that? <laughs> Uh, horsing around. Yay! He blew it, way to go, he reached the top. Nice job, you have to dollars Vonda has the correct answer. Pronounce this word correctly. Hosiery. Right. You ever wear a hosiery? Yes. Yeah, but you know, not tonight, it's a nice no, day. No, don't look at my legs. Why, you have beautiful legs. No, yes, you do, nice and tan, you're strong. Yeah. I mean, I'm not coming on to you, I'm just saying you're, you're a very attractive woman. My mic I'm Italian, you know what I'm saying, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the correct answer. <laughs> Strong tan. All right, here's the next question I have, Peggy and Steven. Um, Denzel Washington stars... Oh, my God, you've been dunced already. Wendy, put the cap up there, Javon. Throw the cap up. Wendy, I'm going to read the question. She's actually waiting for the dunce cap. I'm going to read the whole question. You'll have five seconds to answer it. Okay. Denzel Washington stars in a recent cop movie entitled Training What? Day. Training Day. Very good, Wendy. Javon, put that cap on. Throw the cap on him, Wendy. All right. You got 200 bucks, you're up to 500, Wendy. Now, guys, who do you think blew it up there, Peggy or Steven? Who did not know the answer on that one? All right. And, yeah, you're both locked in again on the same person. You think it's Peggy. Javon, she won't know this one? I don't think she won't know who Denzel is. She knows Denzel? I don't think she knows Denzel. She doesn't have a grip on that. Oh, that doesn't work. She ain't down with, you know. <laughs> Denzel Washington stars in a recent cop film entitled Training What? Rookies. Training Rookies. With a rookie. I guess gotta learn. <laughs> What's a Wookiee, as in Star Wars? What's a Wookiee? I don't know. I don't watch Star Wars. <laughs> 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 
at least. <laughs> Shape Boy, way to go. You both can tag another two hours for each of you. I love doing the All Chewbacca right. on the show, don't I? Uh, Steven had the correct answer. Training day, like Wendy. Wendy, you bounced really quick on that, Javon. Does she know? All right, here's the last question to Vonda and Peggy. I asked both ladies, what are you doing if you're engaging in fisticuffs? What are you doing if you're engaging in fisticuffs? Who blew this one? All right, and you're both locked in. They have a difference of opinion for the first time. Oh. Javon, you think it's Peggy? She won't know this one? Peggy ain't throwing fisticuffs. Okay, all right, Kate's throwing bows. Yeah, Is that down? Right. All right, let's <laughs> what are you doing if you're engaging in fisticuffs? Boxing. That's right, right. You wanna go a couple rounds right now? Come on, Peggy. I'll take you out. On this show, I'm all about fun. Come on. Put him up, sucker. No, I'm not a fighter. No, not a fighter. Thank you, oh, sweet. Yeah, Javon, she did know. Wendy, you get 200 bucks because Vonda yeah. blew it. What are you doing if you're engaging in fisticuffs? Somebody's handcuffing you? Oh, oh, that's oh. Cop, I know. Oh, he's, you've never. He's retired. Oh, so he doesn't have the handcuffs anymore. Yes, he does. <laughs> and he doesn't use them or anything now. He's not going there. <laughs> Javon, you got 500 bucks, but Wendy's got 900 bucks. Yeah. Uh, Wendy more than just fisticuffs. If you don't stick around, things may break into a full-fledged brouhaha. So stay tuned for more Street Smart. Welcome back. The only sport where it's cool to wear silks. It must be time to pick your pony. If you guys are choosing the the entire round, I'm trying to guess will answer three questions. Crack predicts is worth 300 big ones. Oh yeah. The Dutch cap is back. It's worth 300 bucks also, and you can only use it once. Now recap on the scores. Javon's got 500 bucks. I know who's win. He's got 900 bucks. Now the player who's trailing goes first. Javon, that's you. So who would you like to ride into the sunset? I'm gonna hop on Vonda. Go Vonda. All right, Wendy, how about you? Miss Peggy's bringing it home. Go Peggy, all right. Very good choices, guys. Javon, here's your first question to Vonda. Finish the line from this Bruce Springsteen hit. Tramps like us, baby, we were what? Oh, Javon, don't you again, Wendy. Throw it up there. All right, Wendy, I'm gonna read the question again. You have five seconds to answer this. $300 on the line. Finish the line from this Bruce Springsteen hit. Tramps like us, baby, we were what? Made for each other? No! You can actually take the lead here now oh, if, you, if you predicted Vonda got it right or wrong. Vonda gonna get that wrong. Oh, let's see if you got the lead. <laughs> Finish the line from this Bruce Springsteen hit. Tramps like us, baby, we were what? We were getting down. Well, you're from New, New York. You should be a Jersey girl lover. You should yeah, love Springsteen. Baby. Yeah. Baby, baby, we were born to run. Born to run. Born to run. <laughs> you like the boss? Yeah. She got it wrong. Let it go, Javon. It's a big question for you. You made 600 bucks. Baby, you were, we were born to run. I think that's the state song in New Jersey, actually, too, which is great. Right. All right, here's your first question, Wendy, to Peggy. Finish the name of this popular kissing game, Blank the Bottle. You think Peggy got it right or wrong? You know, Peggy got it right. She, she knows this? She, she was young at one time. She oh. knows it. All right, Wendy, let's check it out. Finish the name of this popular kissing game, Blank the Bottle. Spin the Bottle. You ever played Spin the Bottle? Yeah. You kiss the boys? Yeah. I sure did. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> she got it right. Way to go, Wendy. That takes you up to 1,200. You vault back into the lead. Good game here. Javon, you can take the lead again. I asked the lovely Vonda. The beach city of Malibu is in what state? What do you think, Javon? I'm going to go with, uh, she's going to get that right, okay. you know? <laughs> she has to do some tanning, you know? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> The beach city of Malibu is in what state? California. Have you ever been to Malibu? No, I like to. What's your favorite beach in the country? Bermuda. Oh, that's nice. They have nude beaches down there? Oh, uh, did you say nude? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you been to one? No, but I like to. I thought Mama Hooter would be going to a nude. No, I went to one in Miami. Oh, did you? Yeah. Did you go naked? Uh, not, not fully. <laughs> Kinda. Kinda. <laughs> Javon, Malibu in California. I think there's a kegger in the boo this weekend. All right, uh, Wendy, it's your turn. Take okay. the lead here. I asked Peggy. A person who has been shipwrecked is called a what? What do you think? Do you think? She got it wrong. She won't know this. 
She, she doesn't know it. She doesn't see the Tom Hanks film, maybe? She hasn't seen it. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> a person who has been shipwrecked is called a what? Loser. <laughs> <laughs> he's out of luck. He's, he's, he's on an island all by himself. He's a loser. <laughs> she got it wrong. Way to go, Witness. Hey, he passed away. Of course. All right, so you each have one more question. Good game. Winnie, 1500 bucks. Javon, 1400 bucks. Here's your last one, Javon. I asked Vonda. Traditionally, what do you use to play the game blackjack? What do you think, Javon? I think Vonda's done some strip poker, so she okay. should know. Oh, all right. So wait, you said, you said, well, you hit wrong, so I got to go with wrong. Oh, yeah, all right. Okay. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> Traditionally, what do you use to play the game blackjack? Blackjack? Blackjack. Dice, baby. You play dice? Yeah. You a gambler? You've got AC when you lived in New York? Uh, no. No? I'm not, not a gambler. much of a gambler. No. Yeah, I didn't think so, because blackjack's a card game. Oh. Uh, what do I know? Uh, what's, what do you try to get? What's the highest score on blackjack? Uh, 69. <laughs> you should never play blackjack. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, she got it wrong. Oh, oh, you got oh, it really lucky there. Girl. You hit that button wrong. Woo. So you're up to 1,700. All right, this is huge, Wendy. You're challenged by 200 bucks, so if you get this prediction right. Yeah, uh, cards is the correct answer. Said it in the clip there. All right, so uh, <laughs> I asked Peggy. The 2001 World Series champions are the Arizona who? So what do you think? Wendy, if you predict this correct, you'll take the lead for the wager of death. Javon doesn't want you to. What do you think? Think Peggy got it right or wrong? She got it wrong. Let's she, check. Yeah, she didn't want to. The 2001 World Series champions are the Arizona who? Cactus. Arizona cactus. Oh, <laughs> That's the wrong answer. Way to go, Wendy. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks for the world champions. Great, great game. Javon, 1700 bucks. Wendy, 1800 bucks. <laughs> on a question I asked Devonda, Peggy, and Steven. I asked them, what are you doing if you are flapping your gums? Careful you don't buy the farm in. The wager. Stay glued. Stay glued. Good luck. <laughs> Welcome back, Javon and Wendy. Here's the path we're going to take. Come to the break, you both secretly chose a person, predicted if they would be right or wrong, and then you made a wager not to exceed your total. Recap of the scores, it's been a great game. Javon, 1700 bucks. Wendy, 1800 bucks. Keep your eye on the horizon, the end is in sight. One final question, one final winner. And here's a question I asked Vonda, Peggy, and Steven. What are you doing if you are flapping your gums? So let's get your choices right now. Javon, you only show by 100 bucks. He's going to go with... My baby girl, Go Vonda. back to Vonda. Uh, Wendy, how about you? The handsome young Steven. You're going with Steven. All right, well, nobody picked Peggy. We're going to say, Peggy, thanks so much. She was adorable. We loved having her on the show. All right, Javon, you only travel by 100 bucks. You're going with your girl, Vonda. Let's see what happens. What are you doing if you're flapping your gums? My gums? I have no teeth. <laughs> you're flapping your gums? You have no teeth? Okay, that's a wrong answer. Now, Javon, you went with Vonda. What did you say she'd do? You said she would get it. Wrong. You said wrong. How much of that 1700 did you wager? I bet you he was big. Oh, 400 yeah. bucks. All right, conservative. Takes him up to 21. Interesting strategy. Wendy, you now trail. You went with Steven. We haven't seen him in a while. Let's see what he says. What are you doing if you're flapping your gums? Talking. Flapping your gums is talking. Now, Wendy, you went with Steven. We saw him get it right. What did you say? I said he was going to get it right. You said right. All right, Wendy, you're at $1,800. If you wagered over 300 bucks, you're our champion today. What would you wager? I went big. $1,800. Oh, my God, that gives you $3,600. You're our winner. Way to go. What did we learn today? Well, shipwreck, you know, means you're a castaway, but Peggy says you're a loser. Great show. Thanks. Come on over, guys.